Sangwene here. I am here today with the Twisted Sisters Video Hop, where we take an item from the new catalog that just came out and use it in a way that it was possibly not originally intended. Give you a way to twist your objects around so that you get more use out of them. So this is the November December catalog and what I chose to twist is from the Evergreen collection. One, I used a piece of paper from the Evergreen uh, paper line for my background and then I used this scrapbook layout from the digital art collection along with some other pieces and um, twisted them and used them to create instead of a Christmas winter layout to create a camping and hiking layout. So we live in East Tennessee and that's we're right next to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and one of our absolute favorite places to go there is Cades Cove. We go camping there, we go hiking there, we go for drives there, just all kinds of fun things. So I wanted to use this collection and create for myself a, a layout that captures not just one moment in time, but several moments in time. And you can see here that I put the dates on for when these pictures were all taken. Now, <clears throat> I used... Everything here is from the Cricut cartridge, is from the, I, I cut it on my Cricut and then I printed all of this on my Cricut with markers. I love doing that. Um, I do also use my handwriting in my scrapbooks because I think it's really important to capture your own handwriting. But then there's other times that I feel like I want to do it like this. So I do it both ways. I don't beat myself up over it. So let me just show you what I did. So I used the layout almost exactly as it was laid out, but I changed it slightly. I used different colors. Um, I used um, some different pieces in different ways. Like these are snowflakes from the digital cartridge. I keep calling it a cartridge. From the digital, well, that's not gonna help you. I'm trying to put it on white so you can see it better from the digital art collection. And what I did there is I printed these out and our paper is two toned. So I got two different colors from each one. And then I just cut off each of the um, arms of the snowflake and I used those as branches. So you can see some here, you can see some here. Um, <clears throat> so just look at what you have. See, how can I use it in a different way? So I'll just give you a little bit of a closer look up. And um, I really love the way that these came out. I love the colors. I do wish I wouldn't have been wearing blue because I think these colors would have worked really nice um, if I was wearing something that orange or green or something else. But it's okay. It works. It captures the memory the way I wanted to capture the memory. So I love the way that these all came together. These pictures here are two and a half inch square. And then this one I printed four by six and then just cut off about a quarter inch all the way around to frame it out. <coughs> and um, I love these ones because there's my little peanut. Um, some of you may know we had to um, say goodbye to Peanut a couple years ago. Um, miss him terribly, but he loved going there as well. And he always would have cockleburrs stuck everywhere. He didn't like that part when I would go to take him out, but he really enjoyed all the smells and everything that he could go and, and look at. Um, love the horses that they have there. Um, just the beautiful vistas. I love the way the sun is shining on that one. So that doesn't have anything to do with the twist, but I just thought I'd point out when you're doing your scrapbooking, pick pictures that you love and let the story come from that. So I did, I did put some story here and um, you can also use flip flaps to add more story if you want it to be a little more private, but you want it to be in books that people are going to look at. You can always put it under a flip flap. Um, so with that, I'm going to let you go. There are quite a few of us hopping along this time. Unfortunately, I do not know how many. I am so sorry, but I will have a playlist down below so that you can go down, check out the playlist and every day for about, I think about nine, 10 days, we will have new videos coming out at 7 a.m. Eastern. So be on the lookout for those. And um, if you're hopping with me, there's probably several that have already 
put their videos out on previous days. So go check out that playlist down below and check out the other girls. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be so helpful. And leave me a comment down below about what does your family like to do together on their, uh, you know, during your recreation time. This is what we like to do. Um, and thank you so much for being here today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.